In this next part of the problem, in part B down here, uh, our goal is to find out what the potential is at r equals zero. So if we look over here, here r equals center, but whenever you find the potential, you always have to use something as a reference point. And we're specifically gonna use infinity as a reference point. So we're gonna go from infinity and bring, uh, and we're gonna find the work it takes to get uh, one charge of Q all the way from here to the center of this uh, uh, in this charge distribution that we had here that we previously worked in this first part of the problem right here. So I guess the best thing to start off with is just kind of figuring out how we're going to split up these limits. Typically, uh, the electric field is not uniform all the way out from infinity when here whenever you have these multiple different charges. So that's the first part. So let's go ahead and begin down here and uh, go ahead and split up the, the integral right here. So starting from infinity, so we have a negative, negative infinity. Starting all the way down to uh, from negative infinity right here, we're gonna see what's the first part where the electric field becomes a discontinuous. So um, it's obviously gonna be very uniform all the way up to here, up into the point that we reach this outer sphere uh, of this uh, charge distribution. And before we go any further, I wanna go ahead and just write out graphically what the electric field looks like from here. So uh, for this metal sphere here that has a total charge of Q, um, the, the, the sphere, the electric field, will emanate from the surface of this charge right here. So it's going to go out this way, right? And it's going to go out radial in all, different, in all the different uh, r-hat directions right here. But for our purposes, we're just going to go ahead and just draw one line that goes out this way. So let me go ahead and write that. And I'll use, um, let me see here, I'll use blue kind of a thicker blue. So I'll use this thicker blue to write the, uh, the electric field uh, from this one. There we go. So that's the electric field that is being caused by uh, this charge right here. And then next we're gonna move to uh, this, uh, this next surface right here, this next surface. So it's got a, that electric field that's being lined with negative charges. So that electric field, instead of gonna be pointing um, um, this way, it's gonna be pointing towards the inside right here. And that one points radially as well. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and draw that as well, but we're gonna use, uh, let's use a different color. Let's use purple. So that one is gonna be radial as well, except this one points uh, in this direction right here. And then finally, there's one more difference in the electric field. And then there, there's one more, um, you know, clumping of charges right here. And that's going to be on the outer surface of this uh, charge right here. And since those are positive, those are going to be pointing outwards in this direction. And uh, those are going to be emanating from this surface of the, of the charge. So I'll go ahead and use, uh, let's just go ahead and use orange for that one. So we'll use orange. And those go all the way out like that, pointing that on that direction here. All right, so, and we know that the uh, these charges are all, the charge distributions are equal in magnitude. So the, uh, uh, the, the Q from the electric field from all these different electric fields are gonna be equal in magnitude as well. But um, we'll go ahead and start from here. So again, um, so we're going from infinity and bringing it all the way into here. So we're going to be encountering this uh, electric field. Technically, we'll be countering all three of these electric fields all the way uh, from the outside all the way to the inside right here, right? Or to this uh, surface charge here. But the thing is, is that when we look at this region out here, the total net electric field is only going to be equal to this arrow right here. They're only going to be equal to the electric field that's being uh, uh, you know, caused by the charges on the outside right here because these ones here are uh, equal and opposite in direction. So they'll cancel out so that it only experiences the electric field uh, from this outer surface right here. So when we take that line integral right here from infinity all the way over here, the... Um, the limit here is just going to go ahead and stop at that uh, at the surface, which is just a B right here. So we'll stop at B, and that electric field that's being caused from there is going to be the electric field that's being caused uh, from this outer surface, and that's going to be um, parentheses. We'll just put K for a uh, one over four pi epsilon naught K Q R squared. Oh, pointing in the r-hat direction, of course, r-hat direction. Let's go ahead and make that a little thinner. Pointing in the r-hat direction, 
dot dl and we're going in the r hat direction so r dot dl is actually dot dr r hat right there yep so that's the uh, that's our that's our path from that point to that point and then the next point will be from uh, oops that's actually going to be a negative so then we're going to work from b to our next region so this region here in the middle between uh, the the thickness of this this spherical shell and that's from uh, B to A. And the electric field on the inside of there is going to be zero. And the reason why, graphically, is we can look at is just the electric field that exists right here. And again, with this electric field that goes this way, and an electric field that's equal and opposite this way. So the total net electric field here is going to be zero. So we'll just put zero right here, uh, DL. Right. And next, we're going to move from this area all the way to here. And that's from um, A all the way to uh, big R. So we'll go ahead and write that integral down here. A to big R, so minus A to big R. And the electric field that exists in this region right here is only the electric field that exists uh, for the, uh, the charges that exist on the outside, uh, or the charges from this uh, positive spherical shell right here, or s sphere actually, and that is equal to... Um, just uh, just the total charge here, exactly what we wrote right here, except with diff different limits of integration. So that's just kq uh, r squared r hat dot dr r hat. There we go. And we have one more region, and that's going to be uh, this region here in the center. And since, uh, as you can see, the total there's there's no electric field lines that go um, on the inside right here because charges on the outside of this uh, of this sphere and so the uh, the net charge here is or the net electric field on the inside is actually equal to zero so we can go ahead and make it explicit from r all the way to zero which is our final endpoint of the electric field which is equal to zero which we'll just put uh, dot dl right here so as you can tell the integral here is going to be zero integral here is going to be zero the rest of this is just uh, some, some basic math, which we'll work through right now. Let's see here. So we can pull out a uh, the kq of both of these, which is just 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times q. So let's go ahead and do that now. 4 pi epsilon naught. And then we'll just do, um, we'll just do a, a big bracket for all these. So... The integral for this one is just going to be negative uh, 1 over r. 1 over r evaluated from b out to infinity. And then minus the same integral for this one right here, 1 over r. Evaluated from um, big R all the way out to a. There we go. And then uh, let's just scroll down a little bit. We don't really need the graphic anymore. We went ahead and explained that over 4 pi epsilon naught quantity of and let's go ahead and just perform these limits of integration minus 1 over b and then the next one okay is just 1 over r minus 1 over a in brackets and just clean things up a little bit and that will be Quantity of B, we'll just take out a negative sign for all those, which will make this whole thing positive. So positive sign right here. So it's a positive 1 over R, B minus 1 over A. And there we go. That is the uh, that is the potential from bringing, bringing uh, a, a test charge all the way out into the center of that charge distribution that we originally had up there.